Hi everyone and welcome to another Greeny Flix Adventure 8 video and today we're looking at the Hilux, my next, my second uh, Adventure 8 vehicle, four wheel drive vehicle and uh, continuing with the fit out. So today we're going to be talking about the plumbing that actually goes into the Hilux with the Alucab Canopy Camper. And uh, again, following my principles of making everything simple and modular and accessible and recyclable and and all those other six criteria that go into uh, putting this camper together. And here I am. Uh, we've got the outside bar table here, that's what the camera's on right now. I've got my cooking table here. I decided to go for plastic jerry cans for my water storage. There's a couple of reasons for that. Rather than a dedicated water tank that's attached to the vehicle in some manner or form. By having 20 litre jerry cans I can have one, I can have two, I can have three, I can have four. So depending on the journey, I increase or decrease the number of jerry cans. I know also from past experience, particularly uh, when you're going out in more remote areas, you can't necessarily fill up easily, which means you've got to take the container to where the water is, as opposed to trying to pump the water to where the container is. So again, by having jerry cans, you can just you just more flexibility. I've decided to mount the jerry cans on the back firewall of the canopy camper. So there we go. So we've got my table, fridge down there, my drawers here for food and kitchen gear. Um, in which case, uh, another table outside barbecue. Anyway, so. We've got one jerry can here, and I can I can put another one there. I can put another two. I can put up to four jerry cans along the back firewall here, which will give me over 80 liters. And we've got water in there, which is good. Let's have a look how this all works. So we've got some plumbing. I'll I'll come back to this plumbing and how all this how this is all fitted out. And we've got uh, a pipe and we've got a transparent pipe as well and they all serve a function and then when i take this uh, lid off you'll notice is that there's actually a separate tap here which then can be fitted onto uh, here so you just take the plug out and then you can just put the tap in that tap just unscrews like so and then you can just screw that into the jerry screw that into the jerry can. Now normally this lid would not have a hole in it. As I put that hole in there I, with a hole saw or just drill that through. So that this pipe can actually fit through there. So when I put this lid back onto the jerry can, the pipe actually goes down into the jerry can and that gives me that's the water source. Um, the reason for the clear plastic hose is that when you put that into the jerry can if you just put your finger over the top and then pull the hose up then the water meniscus will be somewhere along here and you can actually see how much water you've got left in the jerry can so that way this hose stays clean you only use it when you want to check the water level okay so there's the plumbing it's really very straightforward just loosen that off, put the pipe into the water, in the jerry can, uh, put that in there and then just tighten it up. As soon as you tighten it up that creates a seal between, between the pipe and this section here and just through gravity that it being a stiff pipe just sits down 
to the very bottom of the jerry can. So that's all set. Piping goes around there. And then you can see it comes down here. It goes down to the pump, which is just below here. And then it comes up through this hose here. I'll just move that side. And you can actually see um, the hose coming up here. You've, the pump uh, is electric pump. There are connectors here. It's wired up to my fuse box here, also in the back. And then you just operate it with that switch there. So that's my wash up basin. Um, you can have one this size, you can have a smaller one, a square one, I'll probably get a more rectangular one, which fits better than this large um, round one. But long and short of it, you just turn that, flip the switch. Uh, this pump will, uh, can draw all the air out of the pipe, and then it just starts pumping. Add enough water, and that's it. Very straightforward. Need some water. Uh, the good thing about this particular pump, and I'll give you the details as well, it pumps like something like four and a half liters per minute, which is quite a bit. Much more than you need for the kitchen, put it that way. And um, sing floor. Details will be in the description somewhere uh, for this video and um, it can draw the water source the pump can be up to about one and a half meters above the water source so it has enough suction and then depending on how you mount the pump i found that if you mount it in a vertical manner so that the flow goes across like that so the pump motor is vertical inlet and outlet are horizontal before the hose goes back up to here then I find that uh, the water doesn't siphon itself out. If you, in this case here, I've got the pump below the water source. So depending on the type of pump you have, it can actually siphon out the water all the time, which doesn't occur. So that's good. So that means all the hoses are prone, primed now. And whenever I want to use the water, it just pumps straight away. What do you think of that? I like it. Let's have a closer look of how all the fittings are done because that's, that's always a challenging thing with plumbing is how do you make everything fit and make it watertight and actually make it work. So first things first, um, I went for this type of tap so that it can rotate easily and uh, depending whether I'm inside uh, doing the dishes whether I'm outside, whether I need water, operating from outside um, or from the inside. So that's a good thing about that. It rotates 360 degrees. So that's good. That's all fine. So first things first, in order to connect to this here, how to work out the type of hose that has to go onto um, on, onto that tap there and I found that it's just flexible water hose like this 12 millimeter hose so half inch hose 12 millimeter so that goes into the base of the taps there and it also goes straight into the pump to the other side of the pump so it just goes like that straight into the pump and you just use a stainless steel hose clamp to actually fasten it now, what happens on the other side is interesting. Um, you can use this hose here, this type of hose, for the other side as well, into the pump, and from the pump to your water source. So that's an option. What I wanted to see is whether I could use something that's a bit more sturdy and use this uh, plastic piping. So. Again, I've gone for things that are readily available in a hardware store. So here in Australia, Bunnings seems to be one of the most popular stores, hardware stores around Australia. And I've gone for something that is normally used in a house. So copper piping is used, but now what's become fashionable is to use this plastic piping instead of copper piping. Now the advantage of that is that you've got lots of fittings that you actually can use. This end though however does not fit into the pump 
But what does fit in the pump is like this plastic hose, is this plastic hose that actually is reinforced. So the walls are much thicker and reinforced with nylon. And this is also available from your local hardware store. And it's food grade plastic. So it's good to use with water, obviously. Now the advantage of using this hose is that it's almost exactly the same diameter, the outside diameter as this plastic hose which means that a high probability is that this hose will fit with the fittings that are designed for this. There are two types of fittings that are available. There's a plastic fitting, and then there are these brass fittings. The advantage of the brass fittings is they're really straightforward. You basically, all the, you can see that all the internals it's all there's nothing dismantles from this it's just you buy it like this the details again will be in the description and then you just you just push push that in that's it and it even rotates so from an assembly point of view you can see why the plumbers are really keen to use these fittings in the house is so easy to do the plumbing within your house so the great thing about it is you just cut the pieces to whatever length you want and then you can route your plumbing all over the car as you need it really simple now once you've put these together you can actually reuse them and you can take them apart so you've just the whole system is called Smartex XP Smart XP or whatever like that and they come in different diameter fittings different diameter hoses etc so this to take it off you basically just clip this on like that, and then you push and rotate yeah like that Amazing, isn't it? So, I'm not using this at this stage, but I'm actually using these plastic fittings here. And these are quite good. So, it just has a pressure sleeve there. And then in there, you've got your O-ring. So, you don't need to pull that apart. You just keep that like that. You just loosen it off. And then you can just see, you just you basically slide that in and then you rotate, do up tight, and then that becomes a permanent seal. So if you need to adjust again or rotate, if you've got an elbow as I have here, then you just loosen it off, rotate again how you want the elbow and then do it up again. So that works really well. And again, if you need to undo it, you can. So I've chosen to use these ones here. Uh, as far as cost are concerned, they're much the same price I think they're more expensive than the plastic ones. Now the advantage of this one as opposed to this one is that you can use this fitting with that connector. Now that will just slide in like that and then you can do that up. So that gives you a tight fit. What I found is this is completely uh, round so you can get a good seal on there with the o-ring this plastic pipe because of the reinforcement is slightly rippled so what i found was if you just put some thread tape around there plumber's thread tape so what i found is that if you just put that around the hose Like that a few times and just tear it off like that then that gives a nice smooth finish which then can also be compressed slightly so when you put that in there like that and tighten it up it provides a much better airtight and watertight seal now the reason why I've got that is I got this connection into the other side of the pump and then again I used a 
hose clamp, stainless steel hose clamp, to clamp that tight around the pump inlet in this case here. And that's how all the connections are made. All very straightforward. I hope you found this interesting and useful. Um, if so, please do like and do comment. Uh, interested to see what sort of fittings you're using. And um, do subscribe to my channel and that way you get an update on how I progress with um, the new fit out on the Alucab Canopy Camper and the Hilux. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. See you on the next video. Cheers.